Hello everybody and welcome back to I'm going to show you how you can export worlds uh, for Minecraft Bedrock Edition and it's actually really really simple so we can basically get right in yeah and what exporting these worlds is going to allow you to do is to just uh, get them on the desktop of your computer or on another location of your computer or PC or laptop you know and what that's going to allow you to do is to, for example, back them up onto maybe an external hard drive if that's what you want to do, or to transfer them over to another device, or to just maybe store them in another location. Anyways, um, we can just select any world right here. Um, I'll just select this world because it's nice and small so it'll export fast. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to click on this button over here. This is like a pen button and then this, it basically means edit the world. Here, here you'll get a menu. You can choose all the edits you want to do to world. Yeah. And basically what you can do when you're right here is just scroll down all the way to the bottom. Yeah, and then you can click on the export world button right over here. Now this button is going to be right next to the delete world. Anyways, as you can see, once you click on that, um, you'll just get prompted right over here with this little screen. And here you can choose the location you're going to save it. I'm just going to select my desktop because that's a nice and easy. Yeah, and then you can just click on the export button over here. As you can see, it'll say in the top, world export started, and then world export finished successfully. That finished successfully part might take a bit longer if your world is larger. For example, this world is 0 0.53 megabytes, however I also have a world of 150 megabytes, so that one's obviously going to take a lot longer to export. Anyways, we don't need Minecraft anymore now, really. Um, so we can just head back onto my desktop and as you can see right over here, here it is. Here's the world we just exported and this world's going to have a nice Minecraft grass icon so you'll know it's that world. And now this is just a regular file and you can move this anywhere, put it anywhere, store it anywhere, um, transfer it to anywhere you want really. And if you ever want to re-import this, um, if you just backed everything up and want to re-import it, now that's really simple too. All you need to do is just double click on um, on that world file and then Minecraft's actually just automatically going to open up for you. Yeah, and once it's finished loading and you're inside, you'll see it says world import started and world import finished successfully. And now we have the same world twice. Yeah, um, so that's a pretty cool. Anyways, um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.